All right, now this video is a very, very critical and a very important video for every Samsung Galaxy phone users and maybe other Android phone users as well. Watch this video and make sure you enable this feature on your phone because without enabling this feature, anyone can turn off your Galaxy phone. Before we do that, if you're someone who's interested in knowing your devices better, then go ahead, subscribe, become a part of Apex community. I share a lot of tips and tricks, new features, update related videos, and product reviews on this channel. So this channel could be very useful for you. So go ahead, subscribe, give this video a like if you find this video informative. Let's get at least a thousand likes. The video will reach more people when it gets more likes. So go ahead, it's a very critical information every Android user should know. And if you're interested in this home screen wallpaper, go ahead and check out our wallpaper application, Wallverse. There are some beautiful looking collections and wallpapers and almost every day I keep adding more wallpapers for you guys. So go ahead and download the application. The link for the app is in the description. Now let's start dive right into the video. Now let's go ahead and open the quick panel and tap on the power button and tap on power off button here. You see, it did not even ask me the password or anything. I was able to turn off the phone very easily without any security clearance. Now what does this mean? Now anybody steals your phone will be able to turn off your phone very very easily and get away with it without giving you time to locate your device on find my mobile application. You may be able to see the last known location but if somebody turns off your phone and runs away then it becomes very very difficult to track your device. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you enable a feature which will make the phone to ask the password before turning it off. Now let me tell you how you can do that. Let's turn on the phone. Now let's go to the settings. I'll tap on lock screen and AOD. Now here you see we have got an option called secure lock settings. Tap on this. You will have to enter the password. I have set 1234 as password for just for the purpose of this video. I don't suggest you to do that. Always set a secure password. Now here you get to see an option called lock network and security. You need to make sure you enable this particular feature for your phone to ask for the password before turning off. But uh, on many of the devices, this doesn't work. Let me tell you why it's not working on your device. There is a workaround for that as well. Now let me just enable this. If you want to enable auto factory reset, you can enable that as well. After 20 incorrect attempts to unlock your phone, it will be reset to factory default settings and all data will be erased, including files and downloaded application. If you turn this on, make sure you remember the password always. If you forget the password and if you try to uh, enter the password incorrectly, then it will erase all the data after 20 incorrect attempts. But if somebody steals your phone and tries to enter incorrect passwords, that is when this will be very useful. It will wipe all your data. Even if they try to bypass this and unlocks your phone after 20 incorrect attempts, they will not get to see any data. So you can go ahead and enable this if you want. Now that we have enabled lock network and security, let's go ahead and try if this feature is working. Let me tap on power off. I'll tap on power off again and tap on this again. It's not working. Now on your device, after enabling this toggle, the feature might work. The phone may start asking for the password uh, when you try to turn it off, but there are chances that it may not work. So what is the workaround? Let me show you that. Let me first unlock the phone. Now let's go to the settings again, tap on lock screen and AOD and tap on screen lock and biometrics. Now I have unlocked it. Now instead of pin, what you need to do is you need to choose a password. With the password, this feature should be working on your device or you can also try with six digit pin. With six digit pin, it might also work on your device. Now what we will do is, let's go ahead and uh, set this set a password here. Let me set A, B, C, D at one, two, three, four. Again, this is a very easy password. Go for a stronger password always. A, B, C, D at one, two, three, four, just for the purpose of uh, this video, I'm showing this. Now I changed the uh, lock screen type to password instead of pin. Now this feature should work. Let me go to the home screen here. I will lock the phone before trying whether it is going to work or not. You need to make sure you lock the phone and then try to turn off the phone. Now I have locked the phone here. Now I will try to turn it off. Let's go to the turn off button here. Tap on this and tap on power off and tap on this again. And there we go. This feature is working when you set a password on my device, but on your device with six digit pin also it might work. Try it out. If it doesn't work, go for a password. So what this does is, let's say somebody steals your phone or forcefully tries to turn it off, then it is going to ask the password. He or she will not be able to turn off the device without keying in the password. It will keep asking for the password 
giving you time to track your device, to locate your device, because your data or let's say Wi-Fi will be on. They will not be able to turn it off. Let's go to the uh, Wi-Fi here. Let me try to turn it off. Again, it's asking me the password. Let's go to the mobile data here. I'll try to turn it off. It's asking the password. So your phone is connected to the internet as long as the phone is on. And let's say if the phone is left with maybe 30%, 50%, 80% battery, it is gonna stay on for a few hours at least depending on the battery which is available on the phone and you will be able to track it on Samsung Find application. You can log into Samsung Find app on your phone. Uh, you need to make sure you have set up your Samsung Find application. Make sure the uh, you open the Find app and log into your Find application and add, add all the devices. As you can see, I have added all the devices. Whenever I lose a device or if I want to locate a device, I will be able to locate it on Find Samsung Find application. And having the mobile data or Wi-Fi connected on the phone is always better. And to easily and quickly locate it, it's always better to have the mobile data or Wi-Fi on on the device. So you need to make sure you set this up. But even otherwise, if not for locating your device, you may not want somebody to forcefully turn off your phone. And whenever somebody tries to do that, this feature will prevent them from turning your phone off. So go ahead and enable this feature. Have you already enabled it? Let me know, drop a comment and share your thoughts about this. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.